Uh, across America tonight, the manhunt for a gunman who opened fire at the home of federal judge is apparently over. Investigators say the gunman posed as a delivery person when he shot and killed her 20-year-old son and wounded her husband at their home. CBS4's Naomi Ruckham has the latest from North Brunswick, New Jersey. CBS News has learned that the suspect who opened fire at the home of federal judge Esther Salas has been found dead in a car in upstate New York with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Sources say a package addressed to Judge Salas was found in the vehicle. On Sunday, police say the suspect approached the family's New Jersey home dressed in a delivery driver's outfit. The judge's husband, defense attorney Mark Andrell, answered the door and was shot. The gunman also shot and killed the couple's 20-year-old son, Daniel. Sources say the judge was in the basement at the time of the shooting and was not hurt. Her husband was rushed to the hospital. Neighbors say the father and son were very close. I'm thinking maybe another kid would hide in a closet. I mean, you hear gunshots, you get scared, you don't know what to do. This kid just ran to help his dad. The motive for the shooting is unknown, and it's unclear who the suspect was targeting. The FBI is urging anyone with information to come forward. Salas has been a federal judge since 2011. She has presided over a few high-profile cases in recent years, including a number of gang violence cases and a financial fraud case involving Teresa Giudice from The Real Housewives of New Jersey and her husband. Investigators say there is no evidence that these cases or anything involving Mark Andrell have anything to do with the shooting. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, North Brunswick, New Jersey. Salas is currently presiding over a lawsuit filed by investors against Deutsche Bank for allegedly failing to monitor questionable transactions by convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein.